and welcome to another episode of Vintage Tech Time on Dielectric Videos. So, I was actually recently shopping at Apache Reclamation, which is an awesome place uh, in down, near downtown Phoenix if you're ever interested in old electronics parts, and I came across this box in the transformer aisle. Now, I couldn't tell what it was to begin with. It was this little plastic thing. It almost looked like a kid's toy from some time long ago. But I read closer, it says uh, Teredo Trav Electric Auto Shaver. And I looked inside and I said, well, that doesn't look like a shaver for like, uh, it doesn't look like any kind of an electric shaver. And I pulled this out and I was like, okay, it's, uh, it's got, a, uh, this looks like a, uh, a car accessory plug connector. And I said, well, what could that be for? And I looked a little closer and it's got a sticker in it. It says, important, this converter is designed to operate between 12 and 14.5 volts. So I said, now that's interesting. And even closer at the bottom, it says, uh, for service, see any radio repair man. Well, it must be old because they're not even politically correct. Can women not repair radios? Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's apparently very old. It's got this sticker on here from a time when they used to have radio repair men. It was $7 and... I began to get a hunch of what it was when I saw this, this little tiny, uh, these two parallel slots that I recognized as a receptacle for a NEMA 1 power connector like this one. So I thought, this can't be what I think it is, is it? So I uh, took the screws out, as you can see here, and if I can carefully remove the contents from it without it uh, damaging the plastic, sometimes it's a little tricky to remove. But it does come out, and what is this? It's a power inverter! A really crusty old looking one, but a power inverter. And the interesting thing about this is it's fully mechanical. Now it's hard to see on the camera, but if you look closely, this is a little tab connected to an electromagnet that goes back and forth when it's powered. And this is essentially a multivibrator that creates a, an AC signal out of the 12 volts going in. That AC signal is sent to a step-up transformer that bumps it up to uh, roughly 120 volts, which is sent to a really crusty looking one microfarad capacitor and out the plug. And unbelievably, it does actually work. Now it can only produce about 15 watts, uh, beyond that the voltage starts to sag substantially, but I noticed that uh, it does actually produce a reasonably accurate frequency of 60 Hz roughly, and uh, it works well enough to actually power a lot of modern electronics. It's not just for the electric shaver that uses the alternating current to produce the vibration in the blades. So now I will do a bit of demonstration and show you how it works. All right, so I grabbed my adapter here that allows me to convert the output on the back of my toolbox to the uh, car accessory plug. And this is, uh, of course, just coming off of a three cell lithium polymer pack, which you probably saw in another one of my videos, uh, which produces a nominal 11.1 volts. And right now I have it charged uh, about 12.4, so right in the range of what this inverter requires. So first I'll briefly turn it on and you can uh, listen to it and see what it does. So you see it basically sits there and makes a bunch of noise as the little multivibrator clicks back and forth. But does it actually do anything useful? Well, I'm going to plug in my uh, power connector here and I will show you what it can do. Well, the voltage here is showing up as a little bit high. It's showing 140 volts here, but if I go down, you can actually see, well, that it's almost exactly 60 hertz, amazingly, and it is making power. Now, I've got one of these LED, uh, these simulated retro bulbs that's an LED bulb, and it really only draws roughly 5 watts, so it won't put too much strain on this thing but it'll demonstrate that hopefully, A, you'll see that it works, and B, you'll see that the voltage does come down to normal limits when I plug this in. So yes, the bulb has lit, and I will go down, and it's now down to 133 volts, still a little high, but within the parameters of what most electronics will tolerate. So you probably are interested in seeing it do more than light up a simulation LED light bulb. 
And that's why I have brought this Pile Pro stereo power amplifier. It's a dual 15 watt amplifier designed to essentially run two uh, 4 to 8 ohm speakers. And I've got it hooked up to an audio source via this cable. So let's see if we can get some real power out of this. Also, pay attention to what happens to the light bulb when the music starts playing. So as you probably saw there, the, uh, ampl or the amplifier does actually run on this thing, which is really cool. And on top of that, it actually sounds pretty loud. You can crank some power out of it. But it may have been hard to see on the camera because of the automated uh, light level adjustments on the iPhone. However, you could tell quite obviously that when the beat would drop on the song, the bulb would dim quite substantially. And I showed you the voltage when the amplifier was on had sagged down below 120 and was riding around 122 volts while it was operating. So it does definitely succumb to a decrease in, uh, a decrease in voltage, but considering how old it is and considering uh, how primitive it is as just a very simple uh, vibrator circuit connected to a transformer and it produces about 60 hertz, that is not bad. All right, so there you have it. The Teredo Trav Electric Auto Shaver Power Inverter that actually powers stuff. So thank you for watching Dielectric videos, and I will give you a little bit of uh, Sincol music for, uh, called Sincol Feel Good from No Copyright Sounds YouTube channel on the Teredo Trav Electric Auto Shaver Amplifier. So here we go.